are at Edison Language Academy celebrating the Dia de los Muertos. It's fun to celebrate. It's just great, you know, so live, so so happy, even though you know we're celebrating that, it, but it's, it's it's a happy event. The festival brings you together by the way everybody tries to understand what Latin culture is about. They see how you celebrate your, your grandma, your grandpa, your dog, everybody, and that you remember. My favorite part on Saturday morning, after the opening ceremony, the lights are low and people start solemnly walking through, looking at each altar, looking at each picture, and really remembering our loved ones. The children get to celebrate the deceased loved ones from our family. I made my altar for my grandma. Babichka, my dad's mom. At home, we have a little altar space with some photos, but here it's, it's part of their class. Each class does an altar. Each child does some artwork associated with the Day of the Dead. It's just a very special time. My son is in kindergarten here, and I was one of the ones to help put up the altar yesterday. It was life-changing. I didn't know anything about it and, and what it stand for and what it meant but now I have a newfound appreciation and got to show off the altar that I helped put together. I made an altar like as a pillow with a skeleton face. The real sugar skulls, they're made out of sugar and then you just decorate them with frosting. And when they come here, they get the traditional food. It's one of the signature events that Edison does. It's designed to open the doors of the school to the broader community and teaching them about these traditions. I'm Mexican myself, but I never celebrated this tradition in my own home. I learned about it here at Edison through parents from Oaxaca. They taught some of us. There was one parent that just ran with it and organized the altars more than 20 years ago. It's been our tradition <laughs> ever since. Every classroom designs an altar. It's not a traditional Day of the Dead observance. It's the Edison Day of the Dead observance, which might include paper cranes from uh, Japanese heritage. It might include stones from the Jewish tradition of leaving a stone on a grave. Everybody does something that fits in with their unit of study. Sometimes they'll do things like they'll have a graveyard of dead authors because they've been doing literature study. We ask that everyone come up with some picture or some things that would honor a special person. Most of the people that they've lost are grandparents or pets, and so we'll have lots of pictures of Fluffy and Fido on the altars. I have a daughter in second grade. She made an altar for our cat. Her name was Littles. I put some toys, string, and I made a skull that was made out of paper and it was black and white. My daughter had a bond with her from birth. It's been a hard transition for her. That was her first like major heartfelt loss. It's really been a good way to introduce discussing death with our kids to make it a more comfortable approach. I explain maybe we can't see people that have gone, but they're within us. We have their blood, we have their genes, we, they're with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to call them, because that was an ancient practice. I like the idea of inviting their spirits back um, to the altars and uh, joining with us. And even though that is not a belief that I personally hold, I kind of romanticize the idea. Everyone can join in the cultural aspect of Day of the Dead. I do the alfombra. We make a design from all the symbols in the Day of the Dead, like the monarch butterfly or the calaveras. We do it with colored sawdust and get all the students to help. And we just put food coloring in it, and they just mix it all up, get all the bright colors. And then we lay it out, and I have the uh, parents and students help. This alfombra is based on the ancient practice of putting flowers upon the tombstones in Oaxaca. Inspired a little bit in the yin-yang, the little people are skeletons with wings. 
As the butterfly transforms, so do we. Different generations, grandparents, babies come through and, and find this a really meaningful, multi-generational experience of our life together as a community. Walking through the altars and seeing everyone's reactions and watching the dancing and listening to the music, eating the yummy food, just watching everyone experience that, that's to me the best part.